Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about how to fix Dynamic Link. You're watching this because you've created something either in After Effects or from Premiere Pro and the communication between the two applications isn't working. Let's understand first what Dynamic Link is. Dynamic Link is a separate version of After Effects running in the background. It feeds individual frames to Premiere Pro. The benefit of Dynamic Link is it allows you to keep your After Effects uh, animation completely open and editable um, and live inside Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro doesn't know anything about the animation capabilities of After Effects. That's why Dynamic Link is that middle ground to allow the communication to flow from After Effects to Premiere Pro. It's also useful that you can quit After Effects. You don't even have to have it running to allow a composition in the timeline to play back. The first thing that you have to, to understand is that when Adobe creates Dynamic Link and it creates a version of Premiere Pro and a version of After Effects, they all have to be compatible. So if you've installed different versions of the applications at different times and you're getting a dialog box that says something's wrong, it's because you've gone behind the back of Premiere Pro and After Effects and you're just messing everything up. You have to install the exact compatible versions. The easiest way to do that is to install the latest version of Creative Cloud. That takes care of most of the problems. You can't just arbitrarily grab any old version. And the reason is Premiere Pro is communicating to a certain version of Dynamic Link, which as I told you, is a version of After Effects without a user interface. It's called a headless version. So it's a headless version of After Effects. It has to be the exact same version of the After Effects, the full program itself. So I wanna create a dynamic link of this video right here. So I'm going to hold the Alt key on Windows, Option key on Mac and unlink this, and then also hold Option and Alt and drag it up. And I'm going to send this to After Effects. This is useful because there's no way to undo um, a replace with After Effects comp. And if you wanted to go back later and throw away the After Effects comp and go back to your clip, if you don't make a copy and put it on another track, then you have to go and find your clip and, and place it back in. So if you've chopped in and out points and stuck that in here, then you're in trouble. So I always duplicate that. Right click and choose replace with After Effects composition. And this should give you an indication right here of what's going on. You have to save the After Effects project. So I'll call this Wonder Woman title and save that. And over on the left hand side, we've got our comp and we've got the same clip. And we're going to create something in here. I want to jump back to Premiere Pro and show you that is the linked comp right there. If you right click on that and choose reveal in Finder on the Mac or Explorer on Windows, it's going to show us that clip right there. That is essential. The After Effects comp, although it's in the timeline, it's actually linked to a file somewhere. You delete that file, you've broken Dynamic Link. That project has to be read by Dynamic Link before you can see it in the timeline. Don't delete that, that uh, After Effects project. All right, so let's go back to After Effects and I'll uh, create some things here. I'm just gonna drag in a preset that I added just to get rid of my background. I'm going to import uh, a few assets that I need for this. I'll drag in that logo. I'm going to change the scale. And while I'm doing all of this, if we go back to Premiere Pro, we can see it starting to show up. Now, the one reason you can still see the background is the clip below is uh, still enabled 
if I disable that clip, then you'll see missing background. So that's one of the things you've got to, to uh, be careful of if we've got that transparency back there. Okay, so I dropped that in. Now let's grab my stormy clouds and I'll drop that down to the bottom and scale that. I'm going to turn that layer into 3D and set a position keyframe, move ahead. Move that up and move it down so it's coming right at the screen. I'll turn on motion blur for that so that as it moves, you see that it blurs out of view. And now when I come back, there we go. So now I've got my dynamic link working back and forth. And as I showed you back over here, that's the link that's there. So if it's broken, let's imagine that you saved this, you worked on it, it was great, and then you open it later and something is broken. Well, you can go behind the back of uh, Premiere Pro and just re-import that and replace that comp um, in the timeline. So let's try that. I might be able to relink this. So if I make that offline, if you see that happening, right click and choose Link Media and you'll get our Link Media dialog box and locate that one. And there's the title, click OK, and it should link back up. If that doesn't work, I'll make this offline again. If that's completely broken, then re-import that. Now you have a choice of just deleting that or you could leave that in there. If I delete that, it's going to remove it from the timeline here. So let's not do that. Instead, let's re-import that back in. For that, we can just choose to import this. There's our title. So I'm going all the way back to the other After Effects comp. It's going to ask me where, which comp I want. I'll go all the way back to that After Effects project, open it, pick the comp that I want. It shows up. So there it is. All the effects working fine. And what you can do is if you hold, if you select the clip, the problem comp, hold Alt on Windows, Option on Mac and drag it over, it's going to replace that out and keep everything the same. So if you've cut that up, um, it's going to take all of the things that you've done on the timeline to that After Effects comp and just replace it. So Option Alt, drag it in. And the last tip to, this is not so much a fixed dynamic link as just a great way to work. This is an After Effects comp, so it's always going to take all of this time to, to play back and just be a, a slow uh, comp. So if you want to make this faster, right click on there and choose Render and Replace. And you have a choice of, of rendering a new clip based on the sequence, individual clips, or any preset that you've made. I'm just going to leave it as the sequence settings. I'm going to leave mine as DNX HD and I'm leaving it next to the original media, click OK, and it's rendering this out as if I was uh, rendering out the After Effects comp itself. And now you'll see it's not red on my timeline anymore, and it plays back in real time. No problem. Boom, there we go. If you ever want to make an edit to this, so right click on it and choose Restore unrendered, it now links it back to the dynamic link comp. So any changes I make in After Effects are going to show up 
in Premiere Pro. So there you go. Those th th That's for the folks out there having problems with fixing dynamic link. Honestly, I have never had the problems that some people have, have mentioned to me that they're having with dynamic link. And usually that's because I'm just using the latest version of Premiere Pro and After Effects, installing them both, so they're both compatible. But if you ever do get anything broken, just re-import that comp. It, it amazes me that, that some people um, think that what happened was, was uh, something that you can't recreate yourself, that when you right click and choose replace this clip with an After Effects comp, uh, why can't you do that yourself? Just re-import that comp and replace it. It's just a convenience that Adobe made for right-clicking to make that happen. Nothing special, just drop in the comp and fix that or locate it and relink it and you should be okay. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us more, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. We love our folks over at Patreon. They've supported us for years now and we appreciate it. We also have a new um, donation button for PayPal directly on the front of the channel. Thanks to everyone for all of your support. We really do appreciate it. If you've got uh, suggestions for new uh, tutorials, let us know and uh, hopefully it will become a new tutorial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep you working correctly and looking your best.